There is also defiance here. The satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, which was attacked last week for publishing an insulting cartoon of the Muslim prophet Muhammad, plans to come out with a special edition tomorrow. Three million copies in 16 languages. And once again, on its cover, another cartoon of the prophet Muhammad, this time holding a sign that says, Je suis Charlie, I am Charlie. Richard Engel, NBC News, Paris. The Department of Homeland Security says they are ramping up searches at the airport. This move comes after Al-Qaeda recently published details on how you can make a homemade bomb. New measures include random passenger and luggage searches at the gate, even even after you have successfully gone through security checkpoints. Monday, President Obama highlighted issues of credit and data breaches at the Federal Trade Commission. The president announced new proposals to strengthen privacy online. So under the new standard that we're proposing, companies would have to notify consumers of a breach within 30 days. In addition, we're proposing to close loopholes in the law so we can go after more criminals who steal and sell the identities of Americans, even when they do it overseas. And to protect children, the president will introduce a Student Data Privacy Act, which would prevent data from being collected from your kids' classrooms and then being sold to a third-party marketer. Uh, more social media news to tell you about is Facebook users. You're going to see a little bit of a change when it comes to Amber Alerts as part of a new partnership with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. This is so important. Take a look at this. This announcement comes on National Amber Alert Where Awareness Day, which is today. The social media giant says that they will post Amber Alerts to your news feeds in a targeted area when a child has been abducted and the National Center has issued an alert. Facebook says in many cases users have shared information that has led to the safe return of an abducted child. The Attorney General, Attorney General Eric Holder, says that keeping up with Amber Alerts is a responsibility for every single American. Protecting the well-being of our young people is a responsibility that falls to every American. Each of us can help by, by paying close attention to alerts that come in and by making sure that you are plugged into the Amber Alert Network via social media. Since 1996, the Amber Alert system has successfully recovered more than 700 children.